go on to Google and enter pivot stick figure and then Google search it the first result which is snap files click that okay then go down to download which is obviously what you need to click okay once the setup has gone through and you sort it all out just click it from the desktop or wherever you have saved it okay so it's opened up I personally like to maximize it just you know gives you better control over it all okay and then go up to the options at the top and change the width to 110 and the height also to 110 this is important this part and then click OK okay my stick figure has gone bigger obviously because the screen is small so just change that part to 30 or whatever you prefer for what you're doing so now it's changed to a suitable size they make your animation this is just I don't know just whatever it is <laughs> okay check it works then go up to file and save animation then save it as well animation I think that's a good name isn't it and then this is the important part the formatting for messenger save it as a GIF file, that's the one that says GIF, the second one down and then obviously click save okay you want to shrink the frame delay by 8 and that's about the speed it plays at and then shrink the frames by 2 which makes it 55 because it was originally 110 which is compatible with messenger which is good to know then yep click the emoticons which will smile your face as I'm sure you know. And then, once the little scroll down menus come up, click Show All. And then click Create. This is something, it's quite easy, you don't need to create it yourself, you just load the image you just made. Okay, I'm just calling it Example because well that's really what it is isn't it then find the image obviously it's in my documents and I called it animation and then just click OK and there it is in your emoticons menu now just simply click OK and there's your emoticon I called it example yep and then and that's how you make them as it says